All right, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the potential super fight of Garcia versus Davis because, you know, them tweets and everything pretty much points to the fact that they might have a fight in December or someone's trolling hard and I don't know who. But I think it's inevitable at this point that it's happening. So I'm going to put my two cents in because it seems like uh, most people aren't going to talk about it until, like, I say November or something, right? And who do I think I who do I think would win? I'm going to have to go with... If it's 140, I'm going to have to go with Garcia. But 135, it might go to Davis. And he may be saying, you're a racist. And no. No, I'm not. I, I can't have my own opinion, bro. Why can't I support my own people? Why not to support other people's people? That's weird. But I'll get my reasonings why. Because we always have to look at their past opponent. Davis's last opponent was Roley. And Garcia's last opponent was Fortuna. Fortuna, a former two-division world champion. And uh, I say a pretty good opponent. Davis's opponent was Rowley, a mandatory for his WBC interim belt, or WBA interim belt, whatever belt he has, but it ain't an actual belt, all right? So, Rowley being mandatory, not really that impressive, but still a somewhat good opponent. Both knocked them out, right? And I just think Garcia wins for the fact of speed and that dumb left hook that's so fast. Like, I'd be watching the... The replays when you fought Fortuna, that that hook is so fast for no reason. Like I don't know why that thing exists. That gotta get nerfed or something. And the improvement Garcia had from when he fought to go to Fortuna is definitely a lot. And the fact that this will be his third fight with um his new trainer, meaning I think he would improve a lot more even after the Fortuna fight. And Davis, he's steadily improving, obviously. He's still young. He's he's still steadily improving. But I don't think at the rate that Garcia is improving, if you, if you catch my flow, especially at 140, I think Garcia would win for the fact of reach, speed, and I guess power. But let's not say it's like a 80-20 fight for Garcia. No, it's definitely going to be somewhat 60-40 for Garcia because Davis needs to come in close. And also for the fact Gar um, Davis is a essential counterpuncher. He does not like to engage in combat. And he has been outboxed before when he fought Barrios in 140. But the the way he got saved was from his power and also for the fact that Barrios did not expect Gar uh, Davis to just come out of nowhere and just hit him with that shot. Right? He lasted until, what, round 11, round 10? The thing is, if you have a decent enough chin, you will survive long rounds. And I think the speed and especially the hook. Because, look, I think everyone's underestimating the hook. And that's gonna that's what's going to catch Davis when he's coming in. And it's going to be brutal. And to be honest, yeah, I do think Garcia will pull off the win at 140. Davis is a good fighter. Don't get me wrong. He's also a young fighter. But the most likely fighting at 140. And I, thought, and I think Garcia fought better opponents than Davis. So, you know, food for thought, right? Well, anyways, that's the end of the video. Not much to say, because you could go more in-depth, like, styles and everything. But at the end of the day, I think Garcia got good enough chin and worked on his defense enough so that he can pull off the win against Davis. But I won't be surprised if Davis manages to catch something, catch Garcia with something big and changes the fight. I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to be an easy fight for any of them. It's going to be a really tough battle, but I think the reach and speed is... It's going to be too much, right? That The difference is going to be too much. But other than that, that's the end of the video. Very short one because I'm not like those other channels that be posting them 20-minute video analysis type stuff. But no, just short video. And if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm, I won't, all right, man? I'm about to go on a betting winning streak, all right? Y'all ain't ready for that. But let me give you a little insight of the next video. The next video will be... You uh, will be Bivol versus Ramirez, which is happening November 5th. So watch out for a video then. It's going to be a little more in-depth for the fact that it's a little bit more, you know, weird. You know, right? Bivol only has, what, 18 fights and Ramirez has 44. So, you know, that's something. And the next video after that would most likely be that will most likely be the YouTube boxing scene. Might as well give my thoughts on my thoughts on uh on YouTube boxing, what do I think is going to, and is it going to survive for a couple of years, right? Because everyone wants it to survive, but I don't think it will, but I'll explain why in the next video. But other than that, I'll catch you in the next one.